भगवान शेषान अपहंसी तुष्टा रुष्टा तु काम शकलाष्ठान आश्रिताण नश्रिता ही आश्रयता प्रयाति ओम शांति 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 ओ मदर यू डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल इलनेस फिजिकल मेंटल और स्पिरिचुअल व्हेन यू आर प्लीज्ड but when wrathful you frustrate all the desires longed for but no calamity falls before anyone who takes refuge in you not only that they become the refuge of others who have sought for you and you alone o mother o peace 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 be unto us all so just we had mother worship mother kali's worship and so you want to contemplate on mother kali mother kali referring to his own days of doubts in accepting kali sami vivekananda said beautiful ideas and thoughts which is difficult to understand and more difficult to absorb he said i used to how i used to hate kali and all her ways that was the ground of my 6 years fight that i would not accept her but i had to accept her at last ramakrishna paramahamsa dedicated me to her and now i believe that she guides me in every little thing i do and does with me what she wills yet i fought so long i loved ramakrishna you see that was what held me i saw his marvelous purity i felt ramakrishna's wonderful love his greatness had not dawned on me then all that came afterwards when i had given in at that time i thought ramakrishna to be a brain sick baby always seeking visions and rest and the rest i hate it and then i to had to accept her so this is a very profound statement which is very difficult to perceive to you your ordinary humans to perceive what vivek sri ramakrishna wanted to put into vivekananda and what vivekananda is resisting to the utmost and he fought for 6 years he will not bend down his head to mother kali this is a image worship this is all meaningless pursuit to some uh, weak minds play and they changed and 6 hour years of fight ultimately vivekananda said i had to accept it and not only accept i feel that she is guiding me in every moment of my life hmm. all the work done in this country all the speeches what he did it is not vivekananda's doing it is doing of makali but very difficult to say that because sami vivekananda himself admits that she is guiding me in every step of my movement in every feeling and every emotion it is she is working she is working so that there here comes the question that that when out of calamity out of disaster out of difficulties their eyes get opened up he was trying to understand why sri ramakrishna such a nice person 
pure to the backbone, have some crazy idea, and going to a figure which is terrible, with sword in hand and chopped head and blood oozing. What type of this mother? And he goes there and he worships and cries and he talks, he talks with him. It is unbelievable for him. It is, that's why he said, he's a good boy. But brain is little cranky. So he sees delusion and feels something. So, okay, I, I love him because his purity. I love him because he's sincere, because he's honest and he's so uh, innocent. But I, I don't understand this craziness of this guy. And that actually went on and on and on. And then he had to accept Mother Kali. Unconditionally, there is no way out. He continues. Vivekananda continues. No, the thing that made me do, it is a secret that will die with me. This is Nivedita writing. The master, as I saw him in that a quote from that, but his quote of Swami Vivekananda. He said, No, the thing that made me do it, to accept her, the Divine Mother, that's a secret. And that will die with me. I cannot express that. I cannot tell what, what transformation came. Why I had to accept it unconditionally and become a slave, become a servant of the Divine Mother, as if just a hand in the mother's hand, just like a puppet, whatever she does, no? That's why even, you see, before coming to this country, when he was in the Vivekananda Rock Memorial now, named Rock, Vivekananda Rock, he told the South Indian devotees that everything you know, what is going on there, it's for this guy. How he knows? At the same time, he does not know. At the same time, he knows. Everything is happening because of this. Means Sami Vivekananda. He is talking about that. What orders he has statement for a homeless Sikh person like Vivekananda. He has no money, nothing. He's taking world parliament is happening in 1893 because of me. That's his mother's play. That is her that is his wonderful way. I had great misfortunes at that time. And it was an opportunity. She made slave of me. The, those were the very words, a slave of you. And Ramakrishna Paramahamsa made me over to her. Strange. The Ramakrishna lived only two years after doing that. And most of the time he was suffering. Not more than six months did he keep his own health and brightness. So, I cannot but believe that there is something, somewhere, a great power that thinks of herself as the feminine and called Kali, the mother. It's a very powerful statement of Sri Swami Vivekananda that it is this mother is just not, not an image of it, but it is the power which creates this universe, which maintains this universe, which sustains this universe, destroys this universe. Now calamities are going on, no? Fire landslide, how much is going on in natural calamities. Who? Who is doing that? It is dualistic religion, it is difficult to solve. Eh? God is kind. But Hindus have this Mother Kali. It is also hard play going on. Who, who, who we have to judge? What is coming out of that? What do you know? Why this play is going on, this disastrous play, this destruction dance, why it is going on? Who to say? Look at Swami Vivekananda's life. Let us go to that story. That he was denying, he is asking for knowing the truth, etc., everything, and went to Ramakrishna, coming back, and, ho, and all these things going on. Think of the passing away of his father. 
and then searching for a job, then family trouble started. We say in life, why this trouble? For not in such a person who is coming from the seventh, seventh sages, the seventh sages, Saptarshi. Ramakrishna had the vision that he was in the Saptarshi Loka, in the plane of the seven sages, absolutely engaged in deep samadhi. He was not willing to come here at all. But Sri Ramakrishna begged him to come down. And when he begged down and came down, he said, nodded the head and see the condition. Born in a very rich family, in a luxurious way, in absolutely indomitable strength and courage and power. Don't accept anything without reason. Excellent, excellence in every aspect of his life. And he's in trouble. His father died. And a palatial house his father had, they had to be homeless because of the court case of the relatives. And then look at that someday dire days of suffering where he could not get a square meal. His mom, their sisters, brothers are fasting whole day. And he's coming with a pale face at the home. Could not collect any money or anything for to feed, to bring something for them. And he himself is fasting all day and going to the streets of Calcutta to find a job of a school teacher also, which is minimum 60 rupees those days. He could not find a job. Vivekananda talent is not enough to be a school teacher. And he got Got it with much difficulty, Ramakrishna, Biddhas, um, um, AM, and Vidyasagur was kind to give a job, but he was not fit enough. The students, someone instigated the students against him, and the students wrote, This teacher is not good. So he was, the job he got, and that was gone. See the fate of Vivekananda, the world teacher, by whose. Uh, by one lecture, people will get uplifted into the high heaven and see the pitiable condition. Why this going on? Look at that individual. This is the individual example. These avatars come. And when they come, they come with this type of examples. That life is not all smiling and sweet and dancing and eating and uh, chit-chatting. Not that life. It is not life. There we know, don't need God. There we don't need any many things we don't need. Only we need when this type of calamity comes, then we put question, why, what? And then you see that question, he went on and on on this type. And being totally tired, he came to Ramakrishna and said, so this is my condition of my family. I cannot bear it anymore. I can't see that my mom is fasting day and days after days and my brothers are not fed. I can't bear it. You please do something. And see the response. Ramakrishna, innocent child of Makali, what is that? Oh, what can I do? You don't accept my mother. <laughs> Achai, is that the response for a person who loves him so much? Then Ram Vivekananda says, yeah, I don't care for your mother. <laughs> and I don't know her. I know you. You have to do something for me. Then again, see, innocent child of mother, she said, oh, no, 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 you have to go. You, you go, you go to mother, and mother is very kind. You, she, today is a good day, and all these things, and you go, and what? I tell you, whatever you will ask, mother will give you. With this insistence, under the circumstances, you see, how he has been forced to, do, or driven to, Go to mother. He will not go and stand before the image of mother Kali even. It's the idols. And it's really idol or what? See, if you have no faith that the mother actually appeared in the image, it's all nonsense things we did. Offering flower, chanting mantra, giving this and taking away all this and putting into the ocean. What did you do all these things? If you have no faith, if you have no understanding about that presence of the divine, are you worshipped? the cosmic mother, and the mother representing the good and all evil, both aspects of 
human life, life of the society, life of the country, life of the cosmic creation. This a symbol of all these dual duality. It is a, it is a mere idol worship. That's why, yes, most of the people talk about idol worship because they have not the least concept of it. And Vivekananda stood to support them first. Their life is an example to prove that, yes, the divine is everything. And then what happened, you know? And Ramakrishna, by the insistence of Ramakrishna, Vivekananda went to uh, Makali and said, and before just entering into that, he had a different perspective. He saw mother lively, living, conscious, beaming with joy, radiant, the whole inner sanctum is filled with light and illumination. And he felt, wow, and saw the living, palpable presence of the mother. It is no more idol, no more anything. And then what happened? He said, Ma. He could spontaneously say, no one is teaching them. He said, Ma, give me love, give me devotion, uh, give me eternal absorption in you. And nothing he could ask for. The whole mindset for which he came to Ramakrishna, He's infused with the thought of the suffering and misery and the conditions of the life. He forgot altogether because that is the presence which appeared, Mother Kali, in real form. And then once and twice and thrice it happened. Then what happened? Here, the story does not end here. Ramakrishna said, okay, what can I do? Your fate does not allow you to have sumptuous food or good meal, no? A very luxurious life, you have no, you cannot ask mother. So by mother's grace you will at least have no problem for your normal food and clothing. That much was approved. It didn't end there now. Now after this, Sri Ramakrishna taught a song and that's a, that's, here is the point. And that is the song. Ma Tang Hi Tara. Ramakrishna taught that song. To me, Triguna Dhara Parat Parama Tang Hi Tara. O mother, you are Tara. Tang Hi Tara. To me, Triguna Dhara. With the three Gunas, with the help of three Gunas, you have embodied yourself. But you are paratpara, you are swa, supreme, you are beyond all conception of gunas, all conception of creation, you are the transcendental. But you have taken this form, trigunodhara, paratpara. And you are where? Here comes the whole philosophy of shakta worship. Vedanta says it's maya, maya, name and form, maya, 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 non-existence. It is momentary, temporary, one approach. And this is called the sadhana shastra. This, this tantra is called the sadhana shastra. It's practical application of that Vedanta. There he says, mother is everything. It is a shakti. It is a power. You are, what you are seeing, you are seeing the manifestation of power. There is nothing but power here. And power of that same consciousness manifesting in diverse name and form. That's why the next line goes, you are in the water, you are in the earth, to me jale, to me sthale, to me addam mule, you are at the very root of every creation. To me jale, to me sthale, to me addam mule goma. Acho sarbo ghate. You are in the heart of everywhere. You are inside, you are outside, you are, there is nothing but you, O Mother. And that song, Sri Ramakrishna sang and Narayana was so absorbed in this song and he experienced that day, that whole night, repeatedly these few lines he sang and sang and sang and the whole night passed like that. So then there came next morning and when it is morning, late, late morning, but Somebody came and saw Noren sleeping in the room of Ramakrishna. And they are commenting, hey, the boy is still sleeping here. He said, no, 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 don't disturb him. 
my norin my norin has accepted my mother kali as if he is a great success of ramakrishna and he was waiting for that what he has become and and this uh, it is sami <laughs> vivekananda also said this beautiful uh, last words he says that the future you say will call ramakrishna paramangsho an incarnation of kali yes i think there is no doubt that she worked up the body of ramakrishna for her own ends there is a song also about ramakrishna it says apuni korile apunar puja apunar stuti gan ই ভবতারিণীর পূজারী ঠাকুর তুমি হে আমার প্রাণ আপনি করিলে আপনার পূজা দ্য বিউটিফুল আইডিয়া ও রামকৃষ্ণ ইউ ওয়ার্শিফট মা কালী দ্যাট উই সি দ্যাট বাট ইউ ওয়ার্শিফট ইউর সেলফ আপনি করিলে আপনার পূজা ইউ ওয়ার্শিফট ইউর ওন রিয়েল নেচার অর ইউ আর ইন অ্যানাদার ফর্ম you worship yourself and that's why you what that and vivekananda is giving that hint yes you see i cannot but believe that there is somewhere a great power that thinks of herself as feminine and called kali and mother and i believe in brahman too so the transcendental and the immanent so so long we are breathing so long we are talking so long we are experiencing happiness misery joy we have to understand we are in the realm of the divine mother under the control of mother and when you can go beyond mind you are you are atman you are brahman no problem but so long you are in the realm of the mind you are in the realm of the shakti you will have to accept it you cannot say i don't care yeah your body will fail you have to come to mother hey mother please this is not doing well help so everything happening in the level of duality and that vivekananda got that feeling that mother in the water mother in the air mother in the fire mother in every heart everything is mother 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 and the greatest satisfaction of vivekananda ramakrishna or achievement of ramakrishna is like yeah, that's why our budhananda sami who was in this country and he was here also sometime <laughs> that swami used to say that ramakrishna had done two types of spiritual practice one spiritual practice to cry and weep and day and night to see ma 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 give your vision after that was completed he did another sadhana to just inject the idea of Hmm. Noren sadhana. He used to say, uh, Ramakrishna has two sadhana. Kali sadhana and Noren sadhana. It's a very, it's a very beautiful word he has collected. Noren, uh, Ramakrishna did two sadhana, two spiritual practices. One is Kali sadhana. To attain, to experience Mother Kali. Cried, weeped, years. No? That was his total dedication and then after finishing that this another sadhana he is not ended his work did not end he is crying on the roof of the kali temple who oh, ye come come oh my child who are here your pure hearted pure souls come i cannot bear without you no i cannot live without you eh? and crying and weeping for mother kali before and now crying for the pure souls to come and out of all the souls not any special and people used to think why he is very partial to noren he keeps noren all the time close and very adores him like god appreciates him even he says brahm what norm our what you call brahmo leader um, keshav sen he in him only one unit of power has been manifested and in noren my noren has 18 such powers it is ridiculous thing not in one day complain what are you talking about that you are comparing 
not only comparing me with Keshav Sen, who is the world-renowned leader and founder of the Brahma movement, and he, he went to the queen and spoke, oh, he is appreciated so much, and I am a Calcutta boy who does not believe in gods and goddesses, and you are complaining, comparing with me 18 times of that power. What is People will tell you, crazy, don't do that. And then he'll say, what can I say? My mother has shown it. My mother showed that it is so. But that acting, this is an instrument. Who is acting through that? Here comes the power. You should be receptacle. In your car, if you have four-cylinder engine and you press hard, it will have its optimum speed. If you have six-cylinder engine, press you and it will give you a different. And you have some particular uh, sports car. Yesterday we saw, boom, go. How much you want to go? 200 miles. But you should have that power. Capacity of the engine is necessary. And Vivekananda was the, was the instrument. Who is the power, tremendous power of the cosmic good, but the good of the universe, good of the world, started there. You know, Colombian ex exposition. It was 1893, Colombian exposition. A part was some conference of the world religious leaders will be there. It's a part, it's not the main feature. And see how it turned. People forgot about exposition things. It's a history. But how the life and the whole platform lectures of the, all the spiritual teachers of all religions became then a phenomena. But the key point came out of the harmony of religion. That was not the purpose. Inten intended purpose was something different, but the mother's will is different. And there came the harmony of religion and speech of Vivekananda become predominant and that become now the theme. We are just coming from Toronto for this world's parliament. See, 220 different religious traditions were present there. And they are talking about the harmony, how we can find. Whose message? This is the power of the divine. It's a mother working. And that's why Swami Vivekananda says, it drove me. This mother, which Vivek Holy Sri Ramakrishna injected in me, it is driving me like a reckless and making me mad. Well, I have no way to go. The car is driven, high speed, uh, what you call sports car. And it's making big noise and going wherever it goes. <laughs> that is the mother Kali, whose power. We are all insignificant. The power is working. The power of the divine is working. The power who is the cause. And what is that power? We can go to some other idea. Here, next Swami Vivekananda getting this experience of Kali, he says, how few have dared to worship death or Kali. Let us worship death. Let us embrace the terrible because it is terrible. Not asking that. It be toned down. Let us take misery for misery's own sake. There is a different Makali coming out now. Our Swami Shahanam has these beautiful words. Uh, if a baby wants a mother, which type of mother she will he will like? A Nambi Pembi mother? And if one comes and tells something, Ma starts crying and weeping, ah, or she will take a sword and, hey, you touch my child, kill him. That's a powerful mother. And that is the mother Swami Vivekananda preached about Makali. Uh, it is not only mother and sweet. Yes, mother is sweet. But a naughty boy, you should have to give a slap. Uh, sometimes you chastise. So this is the thing that few dare to worship. We don't want, we only want to worship God in the sweetest aspect. Yes, that is necessary of our life too. But this good, noble and sweet aspect can teach us something good. But it teaches more to the trials and tribulations and problems as just the example of 
Swami Vivekananda we have recollected now. So he says that it is to worship Mother Kali as the representative of death. Don't fear. Then you become powerful in the face of death. Huh? Worship the terrible, Vivekananda says. Worship death. All else is vain. It's that's why I have taken this topic today. Uh, what Swamiji gave it very dominantly, very difficult to accept. Because all the calamities when it comes and we see around, no? we feel totally lost. We always say, hey, God is so kind, what is happening? Really, that's true for us. But what do you know of God? What do you know of this play of the divine? The absolute does not do anything. Brahman, you, Brahman does not come into affair of all these things. It's all the level of the Shakti, the power. So you have to accept that Shakti and the play of the Shakti. But Swami Vivekananda teaches us to be strong. Teaches us to be powerful. Not to cry and weep, but to stand against everything to conquer and be a mother's real child, powerful child. He says, worship the terrible. We began on this advice. Quote, worship the terrible. Worship that. All else is vain. All struggle is vain. That is the latest, last lesson. Yet it is not the coward's love of death. Not the love of it, the weak or the suicide. It's very important. He's saying that you love, yes, people embrace. When you are frustrated in life and you're mentally depressed, why do you go? You have to die. I don't like this world. And people commit suicide. That type of death is not being asked here. It is not a suicidal type of power. It is not the power which leads you to make you weak and weaker. But it, Swamiji says, it is not the coward's love. Coward have no power, say, I forgive you. Similarly, the coward who have no power to love God, he says, oh, you are terrible. I am coward. Okay, okay, let me die. Not that. It is a power. It is the welcome of the strong man who has sounded everything to its depths and knows that there is no alternative. Powerful person, at the deepest point of frustration even, take refuge into the Shakti. And that is the power to be worshipped. But good and bad comes from heart, love, all pervaded love. So that is very difficult, but let us go to read Swami Vivekananda a little bit. We will find that he is all the time putting Mother Kali in that perspective in our life. In this poem, which is the to a friend, Swami Vivekananda writes, Beyond the cane of human speech and mind, it dwells in well and woe. It is that which comes as the all-powerful, all-destroyer Kali and as the kindest, kindest mother. And the terrible aspect and the kind, kindest and most kind mother aspect. Disease, bereavement, pinch of poverty, dharma and its opposite of adharma. The results of actions, good and bad, all are but its worship in manifold modes. Say what does by himself a ordinary person can do. See the beautiful words, no? It's a different perspective. Though it may appear too impractical for us, but it gives strength at least. At times of calamities, it can give us strength. That mother we want to worship. That's Vivekananda's mother, Ma Kali. That Kali which says that disease, it takes us to frustration. Bereavement, it makes us forget about the world and we cry and weep. He says, pinch of poverty, when we get in the pinch of poverty, frustration, hunger, thirst, dharma and its opposite, adharma. The results of the actions, good or bad, 
these are all but it's worship in manifold forms you are worshiping mother only if one thinks through all my experiences what am i doing it is i'm worshiping the mother divine mother vivekananda says that should be the attitude and the results of actions good and bad and all they are but its worship it means worship of mother kali in manifold forms so what else one can do so here to a friend sami vivekananda like a friend telling the whole humanity particularly those who want spiritual life to be courageous he says love death be bold to accept death be bold to accept bereavement be bold to accept the pinch of some poverty to accept what is called the disease if it comes okay let it come it will go away body will go what is there in it but why to cry and weep like that at least it has no other value at least we won't get to the get the pills of depression is it not if it does not give us spiritual illumination this talk or this this few words at least it can help us to boost a little bit of ha 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 okay body is going on okay that's okay sami vivekananda continues that it is the uh, it dwells uh, it is that which comes as the powerful and all destroyer kali so this is the aspect that good is also mother's grace but when bad or so called bad from our perspective comes that's also mother embrace it accept it conquer and you see the mother is holding their smiling behind the veil say hey you understand me some of you began to give another example no a mother sometimes plays with the children no Ma- mother puts a mask some of this said in another place you mother you put a mask and i got frightened to see your mask that's why i say oh mother take away the mask it is the power of the divine mother working in every aspect if we can just penetrate into it and see the mother's face one is called liberated who can put that person into suffering or pain or bereavement or anything those will fail to mystify the divine mother's presence because the veil is lifted but it should be a struggle for the individual soul to be courageous to accept those ideas yes these are our lessons these are these lead us close to god of course if you do not fit candidate as i said the engine is very poor and high voltage high high in a, a output you want high high level of output it will be impossible so who should be strong the body should be strong mind should be strong the strong mind should say yes let bereavement come let suffering come let me be bold to handle it this mother is playing with me there is nobody else mother if mother is the only reality then why do i fear about so that's a good uh, way of thinking now we find another place sami vivekananda he has written so many so much of about the mother kali let shama dance there there another poem written by sami vivekananda and he gave a terrible picture of that that you know when sami vivekananda experienced mother kali and then he he was dictating he has a friend who is an artist during his time in calcutta he called his friend and said okay can you you are an artist can you draw a mother kali's form and he started describing mother kali what is what she can do this is wrenching the trees the starry sky is gloomy the whole earth is of full of darkness vibrant and sonant and the dread souls are coming out and all massacre going on and he was describing mother kali's this destructive form or something the artist after a few minutes said i can't take it anymore please stop 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 so it is uh, this very difficult to understand though we are we are reading because to know is good at least uh, if sometimes it strikes our heart sami vivekananda there says lo 
how all are scared by the terrific non non sick elokis elokis is mother whose hair is not braided open eh? non sick the mother with non braided hair whose form mis death the deadly frightful sword reeking with blood they take from her hand and put a lute instead we want to soften that aspect that's why you want to love flute playing krishna and radha this very eh hey, livable in our level but sami vivekananda says hey you want to change the sword which is just a uh, frightful sword reeking with blood and they take from her hand and put a lute instead thou dreaded kali dreaded kali the old destroyer thou well or not true thy shadows shadow is in, is indeed the pleasant garland of flowers o terrible mother cut quick the cord of illusion dispel the dream of happiness rend asunder the fondness for the flesh awake it says awake o hero awake o hero shake off thy vain dreams death stands at thy head does fear become of thee a load of misery true though it is this becoming know this to be your god his temple this world among corpses and funeral pyres unending battle that is the in the corpses means it is a death bereavement this that our life goes on through that look at our life in reality we don't discuss all these things from our childhood go how many types of difficult situations we passed through how many dreadful death we have seen our own parents our own relatives they pass away we find we cry few days and we forget that we want to run as if it is nothing has happened in that side we want to focus in another sweet side of it but why not be bold to see the reality of life that is sami vivekananda says that that it is mother kali's it is a, all the funeral pyres the that is the smashana in the corpse ground um, on ending battle and this life is on ending battle that verily is his sacred worship this on ending war this battle going on in our life seeking for the only sweet and loving and don't accepting what opposite comes together if you accept light you have to accept darkness if you have accept pleasure you will have to accept pain if you accept birth you will have to accept death if you accept health you will have to accept disease how can you do one side and don't see the other side this is our one way of looking or we have never thought that way shami vivekananda is giving the mother kali's this dual form that don't be frightened let us move on life is a battle and through this battle we'll have to conquer but who is in the battle who is playing with me it is only the same divine mother the same power only in different mask unveil the mask and see mother then it is no more fear it is the same mother so this is the idea that verily is a sacred worship that is a sacred worship we think offering flower to the temple and say saying some mantra is the only worship no in life is worship and when you are facing these challenges these are the greatest worship if you can see the face of mother there if you can feel that it is the divine only one divine mother who is just dancing in destruction dance sometimes it's sweet say with the with the sun moon rising the sun rising the beautiful uh, starry sky these are all beauty that's also mother and also scary frightening destructive form that's also mother dancing that's why mother dances 
in her own play, playful mood. And Ramakrishna said, why this happens? Ramakrishna said, it's mother's play. But that does not satisfy us. We don't understand what why mother, our question is always why. Why do you know, how, who are you to question that the, what the cosmic play is going on? Who are you? Who will take permission from me or you? And how the divine play will go on or not? How many stars will now be crushed into dust? How many trillions of um, one galaxy is getting inside in the black hole will take your permission or my permission? Is going by whose will? Ah, you will only see it create, created universe and not the destruction of that part. You will only live like, enjoy health and beauty and charm and poetry and fun and joy and not the opposite of, you know, ha ha ha, why, 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 why? That then you say, why? Why good comes in your life? Challenge? I, I, why, why today someone is smiling at me? Say, why? Did you put question? Why don't you put question? Why someone is kind to me? Someone is bad to me? Ha ha ha, why, why? Someone is mean to me? Ha 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 ha. And I am getting disease, I have my heart attack. Why, why, why me? But when it, I am getting, enjoying good health, someone is giving me praise, so I am, someone is bringing, give me, bringing me gift, do I say why, why, why? Tell me, who here in the audience ever thought that way? We are not able to do questions that way. We are one-sided. We have our self-interest. When the self will be faced, that is the point when you'll see it is mother playing. So you accept this, you accept that. And that makes even, in our rational idea, it makes sense. <sighs> but very difficult, very difficult. We can cry and weep and do all these things but never accept this truth. So, Swami Vivekananda says, and that verily is his sacred worship. Now come the next point. Constant defeat. Let that not unnerve thee. That constant defeat. You try and fail. Try and fail. Let it not unnerve you. Let it not say, ha, ah, it is, why, no, I am done, no. See, it is mother playing. Let me unveil the mystery and see the mother's face. Constant defeat, let that not unnerve thee. Shattered be little self. Who are ready? We are not ready for this. I want my little... I, me, mine, this, this, all me, mine. I hold here this parameter and we want to enjoy eternal freedom. So, these last few lines are very important as a spiritual practice what we can do. These great people, when they talk something, no, it is so profound. If we can take one word and apply into our life, then it is meaningful. Otherwise, what is the use of putting, doing Kali Puja and putting into the ocean and singing and dancing and coming back and making a great face to each other? Huh? So this should be the truth. That is the lesson. That is the Kali we worship. And that Swami Vivekananda is helping us to think in this line. You may say, you are talking to big things. Yes, I am not talking. But I am just copying what some Vivekananda said. But what we are doing, I may fail thousand times. Let us be bold. I fail thousand times. I will try once more. That's why Swami Vivekananda said, Shattered be little self, hope, name and fame. Set up a pyre of them. What a powerful word. Your name? We are hankering for our name, our fame, our praise. Someone will say, you are good, 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 good. But I balloon, I get popped up. Someone say, you are nonsense, what do you do? Huh? Huh? And I cry seven days. <laughs> this is the way we are becoming spiritual. Vedanta says, Sthita Pragyasa Kaabhasa, there he says, Sukhe Dukhe Same Kritva, this is the state. This is a statement, how to apply it. That's why 
mother worship the shakti the worship of shakti because of that to gain strength inside to challenge these difficulties in equal equanimity we may fail don't mind that's why he said again and again you fail in this battle defeat but defeat is no defeat it is giving you grow more strength as some we we can understand in one place that look at your childhood when you are walking on the floor like a animal and when you try to stand up how many times he failed how many times he fell down do you remember that or we are proud that we stand up and walking so this is the vivekananda suggestion that that very least is is his sacred worship is hard constant defeat let that not unnerve thee shattered be a little self hope name and fame set up a pyre of them collect all of them and put a uh, fire and let it be burned to ashes your own name your own fame your liking your disliking your praise and everyone will be pampering you huh? why let the all these things come it and its opposite let everything come you only just put a just strike a match and let it be all ashes set up a fire of them and make thy heart a burning ground and let the shama dance there beautiful word it is not saying negative just you pyre put to pyre and it will be only a cremation ground no in that cremation ground what will be the reality as the divine mother will be dancing there in their own joy out of all this name gone fame gone your ego gone your likes gone dislikes gone and you stand in your dignity and you play there and live in your mother consciousness of the divine mother this is called mother worship mother kali very difficult very strong very sometimes it seems is impossible but as i have said two benefits see one one hour we are talking about that at least we feel little energy no do we get anything anything out of it sami vivekananda what he said is it not uplifting little bit yes it has taken us from our depressed mood into little little one inch up maybe half an inch half half an inch or 1.1 mm but if we do it day and night and keep it in our focus that we are worshiping mother let people blame make it just put us match best it strike it out and think of mother let good come let bad come who cares hmm. and that's the sami vivekananda's whole life struggle and he dedicated it and he preached it he lived that that's why he was driven by the divine mother as he said by ramakrishna put into him and ramakrishna also said when mother's work this is now is locked after giving that samadhi ecstatic state of living in the cosmic consciousness when it is finished he says now it is locked and the key is with me when you are finished with mother's work then it will be opened and that he that is that happened what was the last song do you remember the uh, sami ji is coming down from this ha pawan kalore ha shama ma shama ma mark kalore kalore see remember his life day is over the day he was leaving the body he shut the door of the temple and get out get out everyone and he entered into the meditation what he did god knows two hours after two hours or so he came out and when he is coming down from the old shrine of the belur mat and that day that night his body is he is leaving the body he is singing the song shama ma ki amar kalo it ended began began with vivekananda began with kali vivekananda ended with kali and that is the kali in between what worked it is only mother kali and this is the message coming from kali the ferocious figure standing to give us inspiration and encouragement to face the challenges of life to get through the battle but never be defeated let your name be, be this few words are very powerful let 
be let that not unnerve you the shattered be the little self little self little hope name and fame set up a pyre of them and make thy heart burning ground and let sama dance there thank you om visheshwari tang paripashi vishwam vishwaatmika dhare siti vishwam visheshu bandya bhavati bhavanti विश्वाश्रयाजी नम्रा ओम शांति 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 ही ओ क्वीन ऑफ द यूनिवर्स यू प्रोटेक्ट द यूनिवर्स एज ए सेल्फ ऑफ द यूनिवर्स यू सपोर्ट द यूनिवर्स यू आर द गॉडेस वर दी टू बी अडोर्ड बाय द लॉर्ड ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इवन द डेबूटी इज दो फॉलो यू they become the refuge of the universe who bow in devotion and love for you o mother our salutations to you om peace 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 be unto us all.